for the Sandman. Nope. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this kind of a different edition of D&G here. Uh, we're filming this on my birthday, and unfortunately, before any speculation begins, uh, D&G with the Fathead will continue, but uh, we just had uh, too many uh, scheduling conflicts, so uh, joining us today is... Uh, Pretty much the uh, the other, like the fifth beetle of the channel, JC of the Deluxe Asterix. And, uh, well, we don't really have a way to get this on capture card, so... Yeah, welcome to WCW vs. NWO Revenge, because it's my birthday and I want to play it. So, hey. Uh, I am I'm drinking Mountain Dew White Out, not White Claw like all the kids apparently are talking about. Yeah. J J JC is almost like, you know, a, a CM, if you know what I'm talking about. Cartoon Network. M. Oh, M. Uh, Cartoon Network. Possibly a chick magnet. Uh, Maybe a cookie monster. Any hoozles! What? I always thought that was Macho Man as a kid. I could, I could see that. Uh, it, it is one of those things where it's like he's got the shirt on, so like, is he like upset? Uh, like, does it does he like? Is he angry? Does he not know what's going on? Is he psyched that Sting's there? He's got the wrestling shirt. What? There. So there was there was no possible way to get my N64 to work on a capture card, so we're going in a very very. I don't even want to say bush league direction, but yeah, it's a very very. Pathetic direction. But this is how we used to go live all the time before the YouTube channel really got started. It was all on Facebook, so. Here you go. God, I love this fucking opening. Press start now, the belts are silver. Really? Is that yeah. thing? Yeah. Huh. Like when they were talking about my mic from press, the belts would be silver. Is this Atlanta? I guess it's supposed to be Atlanta, yes. Looks like New York, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always thought that would be, like, the part where it would end, but, you know, no, they're still, like... Well, I mean, they got... Oh, hell, I mean, you know, freaking Bischoff said it, they got, they had a lot of talent, so it's almost like, wait, there's other stuff going on. You know, here's, you know, here's all the, you know, the, the Luchador and the WCW talent. It's not, it's, despite the NWO probably being so popular, it's like, you know, there's, there's other stuff going there's on. There's the Cruiserweights. Yeah. There's Chris Benoit, which I've renamed... I might kid because fuck Chris Benoit, even though CTE and stuff, I'm not unsympathetic, but still. And then there was Yuji Nagata, who I almost forgot was on this game. He's a New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, legend. Crash. Crash. Kimberly. Yeah. Giant's gonna point at him yeah. and suck it. Like, watch, watch what I'm saying. Like, it looks like Sting's like having like a heart attack or something. Like, like, like <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hogan is fucking is like arrested. He's so good about yeah. it. Smoke Hogan. Cunt Hogan is the OSW review fans call him. It's essentially like um, Sting's a shiny plastic man. <laughs> Lock eyes and kaboom! Wait, isn't that the whole thing they did on that one WCW mini movie thing they did? M remember that one of those? With, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was uh, Vader. Yeah. Matt and JC, you got this. All right. No, marvelous Mark Merrow isn't entering the room. This is the mini movie. Speaking of this room, you find this is a room that you probably don't see as often as normal. Uh, this is the uh, room where I film the comic shop adventure every week. Uh, one of these days I'll give a full uh, Athletic Geek HQ uh, tour. So you can check out everything here. 
Alright, so. Uh, let's do a star game. Let's do this one next one, star game. It's the best stuff. Uh, yeah, true. That's all. Let's run through the champions. Champions, yeah, because yeah, the Twitch stream did not work. We tried doing this on Twitch originally, and then it didn't work, so we're just saying, right. fuck it, YouTube's our friend, even though it's not our friend. So. I've had a few drinks, I'm a little more loose about YouTube now. DDP, US champion. That's right, Cruiserweight champion. Tag Team Champions, Goldberg and Sting. World Heavyweight Champion, Raven. That's fun. And Hanzo Mai, which was a uh, generic way they could get away with using Hayabusa in this game, is the TV Champion. So yeah, and then maybe a little bit later we'll do some uh, quests for the championships. Right now, though. You know, some people, they'd be like, wait, I can't actually play as Hayabusa? FML. And then you'd be like, wait, don't you mean FMW? <laughs> I'm glad I have four beers left. <laughs> Alright. Battle Royal? Yep. Battle Royal with, um... We'll just do that whole thing again that we just right. did on Twitch. It did not work. Although, technically, we did it at Fashion Beach. Well, this time we're going to do it now for better music at, uh, Starcade. See? 40. We're gonna do rando. Random. Alright. I played as Hoobie last time, and we I did it. Did. Then, then, now, I just want to say for the record, our last video is like the Rockers WWF tag title win. Never happened. Hmm. Never Ultimate, happened. Drag Ultimate Dragon won it. Let's see. Uh, and Finley's on the game too. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, the thing is, uh, you can get a. Uh, uh, how do you change the? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can do uh, the crow sting and surfer sting. What's the last sting costume? Uh, sting with the trench coat. Okay. There. All right. Um. Fuck. Who am I gonna be? Oh, I'll be Jericho. You. I guess I could be him too, but I don't want that. That's a cop out. Let's see, Savage, you can be. Even with Cunt Hogan. They have the red. I was gonna say I thought they had the red yellow one. There's this phantom costume. And it's like the first costume where he like really like essentially cosplaying. Way back when, all the way what, 97? Yeah. Goldberg, who never wore anything other than this. I mean, he probably wore like a leather jacket on his way to the arena or something, but like. But then like this. Yeah, like no, like I mean later on he had white tights in WWE. Finley. That does not really look like Finley. Like, it honestly almost looks like... What the like, fuck's this guy's problem? Yeah, Ming. Oh my That's god. That's Haku's problem. Yeah. I'll be Glacier. Alright, you're picking the next two. Alright. But anyway, going on my thing, I was gonna say about Finley, like, just like, that, just... That was part of the Battle Royale! Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. like, Finley wasn't a young man, but he looks like 20 years older than he was... Then. And his face especially going, huh? Or, or he's like shocked, like, oh, which one? My name is Finley, and I'm looking at that. Yeah, my name is Finley, and I don't like children in my yard. <laughs> like, that's old Finley. Top of the morning, Tays. Get the fuck on out. Yeah. Finley, right? All of us talking like this, there was a, when I went to WrestleMania this year, there was a guy in, in my section right in front of me, he was from Ireland. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to enforce stereotypes, but the man was hammered throughout the course of this seven hour show we were at. He eventually got hammered. And he cheered for every heel just to piss off the other people around him. 
They're both chained for Kofi. There's him and his eye trying to sing going, Let's go, Daniel! Let's go, Daniel! <laughs> cheering for Randy Orton for no reason. Cheering for Brock Lesnar. The only baby face that he cheered for was Becky Lynch. Because, like, I, I don't think he's going to let one of his country folk... Uh, right. But the, the best thing that he said all night is just... Makes me like this thing about this. Screw the woo and fuck the bitch. It's time for the man. <laughs> Wait, I thought we were done with the MK D and G. I thought we were too. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> yeah. We kind of glad to see him in AEW right now. Oh, Glacier's doing stuff there? Is he like a trainer? Like yeah, he, well, he's part of like the Nightmare family from Cody, so okay. like, he's kind of unofficially... Don't be surprised if he makes a few Battle Royal appearances, oh, yeah. has a few matches. Well, I can see him doing like, you know, trainer stuff, because I know he like helps run like a school or something. Yeah. And he does that, I remember he has that, like that, he has that scholarship thing that the Rhodes family supports, like the Dusty Rhodes like scholarship thing for yeah, like, like wrestlers. That's why he's part of like the yeah. you know, Man and Dreamer and yeah. DDP. Oh yeah. I did Alex Ride dancing at, in New York, speaking of my New York trip. I've also seen the American Males theme in Times Square. My friend recorded it so on my vlog it's like for some reason, it didn't record the best quality, but yeah, all the things I can do in Times Square, we sang American Males. <laughs> That's fun to kid. I also feel like a shrieking woman, like, because she thinks it's so, like, hot, but she sounds like she's dying. Well, that's the same noise you hear whenever someone gets busted. Or someone gets hit in the balls. Like, did Jericho ever do that? Yes. That, I, I feel yes. like... Yes. I'm not saying I've he, seen it. I'm not saying he didn't, I guess, but like I feel like I don't see it that much. Like, did he do it a lot? I saw like quite Or did I he remember, just or just get out of his repertoire? I remember way. seeing it I wanna say like on the regular, but I remember in a lot of his WCW matches, I remember seeing it. So. So I'm trying to think of someone who does it now, doesn't like uh even born do it. I'm gonna use this move to win the fucking shit here. The Yeti! And the Yeti! Ironic, because he's uh, a Yeti, he is a uh, wrestling glacier. Yeah. Holy shit! And they're getting all the big names, like Hogan's been out, Luger, Goldberg. You don't German suplex me, really? Who better than Canyon Bird? I always like this theme. Mm. God bless his soul. Suckers got to know the number one Marty Jannetty that's not Marty Jannetty according to uh, YouTube peer Brian Zane. Oh, two at once. That doesn't happen on Eddie. He looks evil here. Yes, he does. Shogun. Major Gun's brother. <laughs> Shogun showing up. Remember when uh, Billy Gunn and Big Show had a tag team called Shogun's? All right. I forgot. I actually forgot about that for a second. Hakana, which I don't know who that's supposed to be, but it's, it's kind of racist. I don't know if it's necessarily racist. It's just, it's just kind of like, here's a big sumo dude, I guess. Oh wait, wait! I didn't, I didn't get a. I should. I why didn't? I don't know why I didn't do like when uh, he was running out. I should have just been like, God, I got, I got. I'll show you. you you'll see. Kevin Nash is out. Man, they're getting all the heavy hitters out early. I've said this. I've said this before. That might be the best. You know, the best thing to come out of that short-lived partnership that Stevie Richards had with Chronic was he got to keep the music. Yeah, I kind of wish... I mean, like, they sucked when they were there. Yeah. I kind of wish that, uh... I feel like fucking when they, the guys saved Katniss during the, uh, Hunger Games, they're like, Next time I won't be so lucky! I just yeah. saved you with every man for himself. Yep. Lodi! 
like he wants to be Billy Idol. But backwards. <laughs> Who did Raven say that he hated because they... Uh, Terry Taylor. Terry Taylor, that's it. Red Rooster. Terry Taylor, uh, uh, creator of Building the Evil Architect. <laughs> That sounds like a disco inferno. It was. Idea. I think. I think that was the thing, though. Like it came up in disco discussions, but uh, I think Terry Taylor. That was his submission after hearing a bunch of the. Bret Hart. We're getting all the main eventers out of there early. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like uh, Vince McMahon. <laughs> Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Bret Hart. Speaking of disco inferno. Bret Hart. I like how, like, on my DNGs, I just essentially stole that from, uh, WrestleCraft. Eh. <laughs> Excuse me. If Raven can, if Raven can use the, the Kermit the Frog yell in his intros, you can use that. The DDT. Not staying down for long. What was back, back special wins? Don't I feel like he's like um, our friend Cody, not uh, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 person we went to high school with, not the uh, successful wrestler. I'm gonna kick him in the face. Yeah. Well, he was a martial artist. He was a big dude, but he was a martial artist. Uh, and Chikara. Is, uh, Al Snow. It's supposed to be like a, a cold theme tag team. Yeah, like uh, the a cold theme. It's like it's supposed to be Al Snow, Glacier, and two cold Scorpion. But two cold couldn't make, and he got replaced with D'Lo Brown. Wait, wasn't it supposed to be? I thought it was like Iceberg. Uh, Iceberg, not D'Lo. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but he got replaced with D'Lo Brown. Yeah. Which still, I like D'Lo. Yeah. It's not the worst replacement by far. Oh, D'Lo's fucking. Me and D'Lo's fucking awesome. I like. Him. Shit. That's who she'll need it. It's supposed to be called something else. But, uh, um. It looks enough like yeah. him. Wait, uh. I do feel that if Glacier is like, uh. His. His tenure would have been longer. Or in just, you know, in like mainstream wrestling in general. Like, you know. Maybe the character could have evolved a little bit more. Well, what I was just getting at is like, you know, you know on like MK Deadly Alliance, you know, they had the. His protege, Frost. Yo, know, so maybe Glacier could have had a female protege and she could have been come Wait, no, I, I know how that pun was gonna go and now it doesn't work. Disregard that entire last 30 seconds. Yeah, if you would have kept I forget your I forget your player one today. Does the Alabama Slam before it was Alabama Slam? And then the Lion Tamer. Hi, sick boy. Hi, not Xbox. Let's jump in the arch. Hi, Piper. Big Battle Royal, all these main banners is going to probably end up getting won by Glacier or Jericho. Yeah. Jericho would become a main eventer, but he wasn't here. understand the uh, specifics of that. Jericho and Kurt Hennig, I wish we would have got that as a match whenever, uh, mm -hmm. during uh, Hennig's brief return to the WWE before he passed away. No! No! 
No, Lombardi, don't do this to Glacier. That's one of my big regrets of StarCast last year was not eating Glacier. Who was in full gear. So yeah, I regret that. I do remember, like, I'm just regurgitating stuff I've heard on the podcast and stuff, but it does make you think, like, they went through so much with that character and stuff, but he, like, never had an action figure in WCW. A character that's, like, tailor-made for an action Ooh. figure. The first time I saw Taz, like, in a commercial for ECW, I thought he was Maya Inkaboy. Oh, dear. Well, because this, like, the thing that he was in, that Maya Inkaboy was in, was called EWF. Right, right, right. So I thought ECW was like their way of getting away with that. Taz, because I saw like this dude with a bunch of tattoos. Right. I thought Maya Inca Boy was real. And he was the ECW champion. Scott Hall, let's get Scott Hall out. Yeah. Oh, shoot. That's your punishment. Fuck you, my anchor boy. Don't give up! Jericho not getting along in real life. Yeah. So one thing about Jericho, I'll give about Chris Jericho is pretty blunt. He's pretty blunt, but he doesn't lie. Mm. Or it doesn't seem like he would have any reason to lie. Yeah. I mean, everyone has their own version of things that happen. But, but it's just like, like I know, and I'm not trying to knock anybody, but like I know a lot of passionate Vampiro fans thought he was full of shit because he kind of didn't have kind things to say about Vampiro in his first book. But I'm, yeah. I remember just kind of saying, like, um, because Jericho has a lot going for him, and I'm not knocking Vampiro, but he has a little bit more than Vampiro going for him. What would Jericho gain by knocking Vampiro At this lives? time in his life. Yeah. I now, get, it'd I get be, that, it'd be yeah. one thing if you know... Oh, stay. God, this is so cool. Raven, the world heavyweight champion. If you remember the three-handed, moss-covered family Gradunzo, I think that was from Raven. Book T. Again, another future main eventer here. Going nowhere today. Everybody, everybody but Glacier in the ring right there yeah. would was a future world champion. Van Hammer, remember mime karaoke? I, I hope I can. I hope that video is still on YouTube. I. Is it just me? But when I looked at Van Hammer come out, he looked basically like Sick Boy in a different outfit. Yep. He did not look like Van Hammer. Mm. That's the right thing. With Conrad, who's just like, oh, now who's going to come out and have to save the day? Van Hammer! <laughs> <laughs> Ultima Dragon, the winner of the non-existent battle royal. Goodbye! See, the only thing missing is the voice from No Mercy. Eliminated! Damn it, quit, quit dodging my fucking lion tamer. Man, fucking Ming Chi is like the guy. Yeah. Oh, dang it. I didn't have a strong enough grapple. No, damn it, your parts are kids. It's every man for himself, big boy! Quoting, uh, quoting S Sid Justice after he eliminated Kantogan at, uh, 
All right. Glacier win. Well, let's just awkwardly stand here yeah. for a minute. But yeah, like the Royal Rumble 92. Uh, Sid Justice, Sid Vicious, Psycho Sid, whatever you want to call him, eliminates Hulk Hogan fairly and squarely, and then says, it's every man for himself, big boy, and then Hogan cheats to eliminate him so Ric Flair can win. What the? I got like the same score I got last time. I guess because I basically did the same thing. Although I think I did a lot more regular moves. Or at least I was doing like trying to do specials and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Alright, well in the next edition of D&G we will continue this.